Hey guys, welcome to another episode of. So basically, everything's ending. Camilla's shop is still open until the 19th, though. And there's still no patch notes. Two days before the actual patch is supposed to come out. So I'll make my own. Things are probably gonna change, but I mean, what can we do? You know roughly what's gonna happen. Hopefully, you saw my class change video. I know there were some mistakes. I don't know every class and every skill. I did the best I could, so sorry for any mistakes. There was over 50 hours worth of footage I had to go through. Over 30 hours of editing alone. Not including the time I took to research all the classes and referencing four patch notes. But it was a passion project I worked on. There's also something new I want to introduce you guys to. A new resource I made. If you may or may not know, we are possibly getting the boss crystal change caps. If you don't know what that is, it's the 12 crystals per character. It only accounts for your top 12 highest selling crystals. You can do more than 12, but it only counts your top 12. If you do a boss with a higher selling crystal, you will get the difference. For example, if you sell a crystal worth 50 mil as your 12th crystal, and later on you sell a crystal worth 100 mil, you get the 50 mil difference. The idea is to spend less time bossing. The only reason to do past 12 crystals is if you want the flames, cubes, or soul shards, which I'm skipping. Why I'm mentioning this is because I've been working on something big, a new resource for you guys to use. I've been working on this for quite a bit, but it's my new boss meal optimizer. I will release a public copy once we get news of the new crystal change prices. Then something H. Longman and above will start giving more crystals. I'll go over it briefly. So you can see in the first tab, there's the intro. Which links to this future video of how to use it. And my Twitch, which you should you should follow. I'll explain what this is for. How to make a copy. And how to use it. In the second tab, well the first character, you can see how it works. So first you select the difficulty. And let's say normal culling. And everything is done for you. You have to check the box so it keeps track of it. And then how many people is in the party. So let's say no more culling I do 5 way split. Well the prices can change too. You see everything is tracked for you down here. So let's say I do like these bosses. That's 16 crystals. So it tracks your crystals for you, the muzzles, and then how many crystals you've done for the week. And then and if you're getting error, it's because you have to put it in the, the split. Let's say I do Chaos Pink Bean. There's an error. It's because you have to choose, like, you know, solo. Then it'll start keeping track. But remember, it's only 12 per character. And I'll show you on the second tab. Let's say I do C Tinies. Or Normal Tinies. And I solo. All three of these. You see it auto tracks for you. And this is for the character. And the total crystals and muzzles for the character. On the first page, it tracks the grand total. So in total I've done 15 for the week. And my muzzle income. Again, the price is gonna change, so I don't want to release this publicly just yet. I'll make a video explaining all this in a different video, as well as leaking the stock. Anyways, you know the Shade and Aran re remaster is coming. Unfortunately, I don't know much about Aran, but I did make a short little video on Shade at least. For those remasters, there's an exclusive event, which GMS is called Blossoming by Moonshade. It's a roughly two month event, and this event is for new Aran and new Shades. You can still have it burn the existing Shade or Iran, but you miss out on these rewards, which is mostly cosmetics. But you want to do a new one for the title, which is similar to Yeti and Pink Bean. And just as an extra bonus, you do get a separate hyper burning, but this hyper burning is just for Iran and Shade. The second one could be like whatever you want to. You can see in the UI here, you kill 1k mobs daily. And you get the cosmetics rewards. There is a separate reward for either the Iran or Shade. 
You get that respect of cosmetics. At the bottom, you can see the hyper breading rewards from level 30 to level 230. All this stuff helps you boost all the way to 230 in no time. All these direct coupons. Yes, 3x coupons. The golden strawberry farm tickets, which is direct the rates. And even simple selectors, so you can power through to 230. Honestly, you can probably finish 230 in one day if you want to. I do like how day one is the petite pet. For Ron is the petite maha, and for shade is the petite moonbeam. That bit, that's basically it for the event. Start a new shader or run. Run it to 230. You can go to 260 if you want to, but 230 is bare minimum for the title. Next is the Meepo Scheduler, which is a very organized system. This will help you plan out your dailies, weeklies, and bosses. You can even select the difficulties you can clear and it will track it for you. You can start and complete your dailies from here too. And there is a batch accept and batch complete. They also removed the stamps for the Maple Guide. So you don't have to kill the 400 mobs in the area to TP there. You can just go there. Next, we have the quick character change. So you can swap quickly through your different characters on your account. Instead of having to do the whole log off, select server, like channel, login thing. There is a loading screen, but I'm sure it's still faster. Now we have the new Fog Forest dummy. So it's basically the same thing as the normal Fog Forest, where you do your BAs and stuff. But you can use the practice boss settings, so you can use G skills, red pot, green pots, and other stuff without wasting real resources. Something I'm ever looking forward to is the buff display, which you can organize certain skills or buffs in any way you want it, and move it wherever you want to. So it's easier to see your skills, cancel skills, see when consumables are gonna expire, etc. And the boss cutscene skip. I don't know if we're getting it right away because I think KMS got it later on. Hopefully we get it. I don't think I need to explain this one. And we have the matrix changes. So when you hit 200, you unlock 12 slots instead of 7. Giving you more room to add skills or much needed try notes. And speaking of try notes, you can craft any try note you want to. It costs a bit more. I think it's like 500 shards. But it's better than spending that 1k nodes for that one last channel you're looking for. And a huge one here is the 6 job quest line. The entire 6 job request is reduced by 85%. From a total of 450 bill down to 70 bill. You should be able to complete the whole thing in less than one hour. And the Genesis weapon quests. So it's just a better visual way of seeing your current liberation process. It tells you the current missions and conditions and future ones as well. Our next main event is the Page of Memories. It's similar to Dreamer if you played during that time. The gist of it is you just check it once a day for OP rewards. There is a weekly thing to do too. 2k mobs a day for 3 times a week. And there's a mini game for EXP tickets and a Punch King for event currency. So every day you get 3 3x coupons and 2 special of the um, event currencies. For the mini game, you play this Toho like mini game where you attack a big boss blob. It is a cross world 8 player mini game and you could get up to 3k tickets per week. So it's worth doing. I'm not tanking a legion, but even I'm doing it. As for the Punch King, you can score up to 2050. For the Giga Juicers out there, every point past 2000 will give you one extra currency for the secret event shop containing OP rewards. And there's a coin shop for the regular Punch King too. For the secret shop, there's a new type of flame called the Abyss Rebirth Flame. At least that's what KMS calls it. I think these can only roll tier 5 to tier 7 flames, something like that. And you get 300 max for the whole event. And each flame costs 1 coin. But remember, the 1 coin is every point past 2k on Punch King, up to a max of 50 per week. And I'm not sure how tough it's gonna be. There's also Sword Erda, but whatever. And Mugong Soul Shards. I think the flame is a better value, but. Yeah, I'm not sure 
how tough it's gonna be. But that's basically it. Just check in, do punch king, and some weekly kills. Many games if you want the extra tickets. Later on we have Limbo, which is the new boss coming out in mid-December. It's a 285 boss, which will drop 3 new pieces for the Eternals. The glove, boots, and cape. There will also be a new tier of endgame accessories. I don't know what it's going to be called in GMS, but KMS is called the Brilliant Boss Accessory Set. Also later on, there will be Eternal Boxes, similar to Absol's and Arcane Boxes. Chaos and Extreme Carlos will drop a box containing its Eternal Piece, so the hat, top and bottom. And Hard and Extreme Calling will drop a box as well, containing its pieces, the shoulder, top and bottom. Exostat 2 comes out with Limbo also, so you must be 265 plus, and you have to max out your first Hexastat. It'll cost more to boost as well. I think around 550 frags is enough to max it out, more or less. Angler Company will come out next year in January. It's similar to High Mountain. It's a 265 epic dungeon you do for even better rewards than High Mountain. Talhar also came out with Angular Company I think, which is the new 290 area. The name auction will be about a month, where you can buy and sell names with maple points. KMS has some other events with temp stats too but I don't see it on the roadmap. The extra dimensional visitor I know nothing about. The only thing I can find from KMS that lines up with the event duration is the dimensional turmoil. It's a 2 month event and the names are pretty similar. I could be wrong, but it seems like the same event. So there's a level gauge and you, you level up by killing a cap mob per day. And you check in. There's Punch King with nice rewards, basically, to, basically similar to Page of Memories. And the Punch King will give you HP vouchers based on your Punch King score. And there's also Tem stats. For the event shop, there's 3x coupons, VIP selection coupons, and other stuff that will probably change for GMS. If we get the VIP sauna tickets, it's basically an AFK room that's good for up to 290. And lastly, this champion burning, which I'll make its own video. It sucks we don't have patch notes, but for now, let's go with this. I'll break down the actual patch notes once it comes out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. Hopefully, it's my boss meal optimizer. But in the meantime, Peace.